Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your High Media TV News Update. I'm your host, Ed for High Media TV, and today the, an appeals court upholds Donald Trump's gag order as he again presses judge to exit hush money case by the, from the AP by Michael R. Slesak. Two months after his felony conviction, Trump still isn't allowed to say everything he wants to about his historic hush money criminal case. After a New York appeals court upheld his gag order Thursday, he won't be for a while. The state's mid-level appellate court denied the Republican former president and current nominee's latest bid to lift the restrictions, swatting away a last-minute argument that he's unfairly muzzled while Vice President Kamala Harris, his likely Democratic opponent, pits herself in, as an ex-prosecutor taking on a convicted felon. At the same time, Trump's lawyers are again asking Judge Trial 1 M. Barsan to exit the case, saying his daughter's work for Harris's 2020 presidential campaign underscores questions about his ability to be impartial. Merchant rejected two prior recusal requests last year and the start of the trial in April, saying the defense's concerns were hypothetical based on innuendos and unsupported speculation. In a letter to Merchant made public Thursday, Trump's lawyer Todd Blanche said Harris's entry to the presidential race makes those issues even more concrete and said that the judge hasn't addressed them at a legal le level detail sufficient to repair the lack of public confidence and integrity of the proceedings. I think the judge will do a perfectly fine job. Do the, the thing Donald Trump has committed crimes personally. Like, 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 let's be real. He, he's, he has done some heinous shit. And as such, you know, you know, of course he's going to, he's going to try and, you know, discredit the court, the prosecutors, everybody to make sure that, you know, he's got the most inscrupulous lawyers on the fucking planet. So, you know, this is not surprising in the slightest. But that being said, the question I kind of have at this point is what is uh, Trump, you know, what does Trump feel like he's going to basically be able to do? at this point like what is the uh like he like he, <sighs> ever since uh kamala harris has started her historic run um i felt relatively good about you know him not winning but it's still not a guarantee not by a long shot so it really is going to depend um and you know the supreme court definitely gave you know, Trump with with his three appointees and it's deeply conservative and corrupted bias, especially by the people like Peter Thiel. Um, where it, I think ultimately what's going to end up happening is is, is that uh, you know, Trump is just desperately trying to prevent you know any consequences for his actions, so he can try and get into the White House and basically shut all of those down, similar to how he did last time. Because you, I don't know if you guys remember this or not. Um, there was a significant amount of interferences done uh, for, like, you had some, you know, court cases and stuff that kind of went away after he became president. Shit's rough, man. So, we'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And... Given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is included in my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have great day.